I am Bishop Paul McAllinan, an auxiliary bishop of Westminster Diocese. This afternoon, the 25th of September, we are sitting by the seaside at Dover, looking out across the calm waters. And even though the waters are calm, we do consider those who are on stormy seas at the moment, those who are seeking refuge, perhaps even on these waters a few miles away. The World Day for Migrants and Refugees is an annual event. In fact, this year is the 107th anniversary of the event. Today, however, we are not assembling in a cathedral or in a church. This day will be celebrated in cathedrals and churches over the weekend, but today because of the prominence that Dover has in the life of migration and the destination for migrants in England, we have assembled here at this place. And here we remember as we look at the memorial words of Pope Francis, every migrant has a name, a face and a story. And we gather here to remember every migrant, every migrant who has a face, who has a name and a story and we pray for them. And we remember of course those who never reached this place, never reached what they considered the promised land of the United Kingdom. In the World Day message this year, Pope Francis speaks first of all to all Catholics and he reminds them that we are one body, one church. He speaks about St. Paul who told his listeners, there are no Jews, no Gentiles, we are all one. And the Pope wants Catholics to know that we belong together. Catholics can respond by asking the very pertinent question, why did these people leave their homeland? And allow the answer to come back to them clearly. Because of war, persecution, violence, poverty, climate change. At a very practical level, Catholics can get involved in their parishes, they can become involved in community sponsorship. They can go to their local church, local parishes, local voluntary agents, and see what they can do to assist those who have come among us. And very important, Catholics should be willing to advocate the cause of migrants and refugees, remembering the reason why they first set out on that journey from their home. What is very important is, and I think we began learning this lesson during COVID time. Starting with the COVID experience, we realized what community can do together. We realized the goodwill that there is in parishes and in communities at street level. For a time, People forgot individualism and were willing to reach out. They were not so absorbed with consumerism. They were concerned for their neighbour. The message of Pope Francis, particularly in Fratelli Tutti, which means brothers and sisters all, is that we should continually try to replace individualism and consumerism with solidarity and fraternity, remembering that migrants are indeed our brothers and our sisters, and the purpose for leaving their homeland was not of their making. They did not begin the wars, they did not change the climate, they did not bring about their own poverty, and because we are their brothers and sisters, we should be willing to reach out to them and assist them.